Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO weekly news video. Very short for you this time around. A few main things happened in the world of LEGO this week. Links to everything I'm talking about are in the description below. The custom building instructions that have gone up in the web store this week come from Jarek. This is the Mining Guild TIE Fighter. The yellow and black color combination really makes it stand out compared to a lot of the other ties. And it has that very distinct cutout part of the wing where it's missing those solar collectors. There's some other fun stuff subtle little details included with this model as well. I've left a link to that video in the description. And also we've started a pre-sale for the updated Republic gunships from David Buckles. There are several different variations now, all of which are currently 15% off during this pre-order sale. There's the episode two gunship, a couple of different subtle color variations for the Munilis 10 gunship, and also two different versions of the gunship as seen in the Clone Wars show. If you bought the original version of this model, you've already been given 50% off as a discount count code for the Clone Wars versions. And there's also a bundle pack if you wanted to try out any of the different iterations. Alrighty, that's it for the web store. Let's jump into the Lego news. The Lego Adidas Originals Superstar set has been revealed. It's a shoe. It's a Lego Adidas shoe. The designer video for this has been released. There's also several reviews already up on YouTube. This is set 10282, 731 pieces, and it looks like it comes with an official shoelace, Adidas shoelace, or maybe now it's now an official part, a Lego shoelace piece. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. It comes in a shoe box. I'm not really a shoe person myself, so it's hard for me to evaluate the quality of this set other than the fact that it's a subject matter that I'm not particularly interested in. I think the build quality is fine, and I'm waiting for the video when somebody tries to put two of these shoes on at the same time and take a few steps. You know that video is coming from some content creator in the near future. I think you'd have to put them like on a baby though. They look pretty small. There's a few rumors for upcoming larger car sets. The Ford F-150 Raptor is possibly coming very soon in Technic in bright orange. The projected release date is October 1st. 1,379 pieces will retail for 140 euro. Promo Bricks reported on that. And the same goes for this next rumor. Uh, the Volkswagen camper van is possibly returning, but it's not going to be a T1. This time it's a T2. $180. This is going to be a Lego Creator Expert car set. They're saying that the VIP possible sale date could start mid-July, so roughly a month from now. Remember, this is all just rumors and we don't have a rumored color for the van yet either. Promo Bricks also reported on the rumors for the upcoming collectible minifig series for Marvel. Some of the descriptions include Scarlet Witch having a new hair piece with a crown dual molded arms and a red cape without a skirt. Captain America should have printed arms with dual molded legs. There's going to be a lady Loki with a new hairpiece. And like seen in the thumbnail zombie, Captain America with printed arms, printed dual molded legs with side printing, plus a helmet, shield, and uh, it says in a note here that the shield will not be broken. Remember, all rumors, way more descriptions of all the figures are all linked in this article below. And then personally, this is by far my favorite thing that I saw this last week. Week, but there's a Super Mario set that I actually kind of really want to get. I haven't gotten any of the other Super Mario stuff, but Bowser's Airship 71391 is starting to get right into the lane of stuff that I really enjoy. This is a very unique ship. And I love that we get so many of these great pieces, the hull pieces for the ship example in this nougat color. There's some excellent colors. The big cannons on the side look great. And it's just a cool set that I feel like appeals to uh, folks that aren't quite as interested in the play style of the Super Mario's theme that Lego's been producing. And instead, it's just kind of an awesome model. Obviously, it does have those electronic play functions. I'm sure there's new types of things you can set up if you're a fan of this uh, of this theme that Lego's been pushing out. And also, in the same vein, or in the same theme, I should say, there's a Series 3 character pack on the way, set number 71394. They will most likely be priced at five bucks each. And in this pack, there's gonna be a 1-Up Mushroom, Boo, Bonnie Beetle, Galoomba, Prober, Torpedo Ted, Amp, Parachute, Bomb Bomb, Swoop, and Scuttlebug. I hope I said all those names right. Here's just another picture of 
the upcoming minifigures that are on the way for the latest Star Wars wave. We've already reported on it, but you can see these figs in slightly better detail, slightly different angles. Certainly you get a better look at some of the prints in terms of resolution. Lego Ideas has teamed up with Chronicle Books for creating a image, a Lego image for turning into a puzzle. Personally, I thought some of the last puzzles that Chronicle Books came out with looked not very good. And so I think they're hoping to glean some creativity from uh, the community. And if you create an image that they think is good enough for turning into a puzzle that they can sell, you can also get a bunch of Lego sets for free. It's a win-win for them. They don't have to do any real work and just give you guys a few hundred bucks in sets. And then they get a cool creative professional done image that they can sell and make a ton of money off of. Maybe you can contact a puzzle creating company on the side and just try to sell one for yourself. I don't know. Anyways, the link's in the description below if you want to participate. And also one new set got 10,000 votes of support from Nami Rob. This is Medieval Harbor. Hey, another medieval themed set got voted in. This almost reminds me of a pirate theme set. Just the palm trees really do that for me. But this is a coastal town harbor scene in medieval times. There's a slightly done up dinghy that's got some sails, a small dock, a lobster house or some type of restaurant, I believe, and just some nice building creations. I enjoy the shield pieces used for the thatched roof. And this is just another great looking medieval theme set that has got voted in. It looks like the community is really jonesing for uh, maybe a return of some more medieval style sets in the future. They did just come out with that creator castle not too long ago. There are eight new crowdfunded, officially crowdfunded projects from the BrickLink designer program. If you want to see more, the link for that is in the description below. And that is going to be it for the LEGO Weekly News. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, comment, share. Top 10 mocks of the week is every Tuesday, and a new custom LEGO build is every Friday. All right, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at BrickVault. Yeah.